Hello everyone, in today's video, we will delve into the world's smallest computer and the longest river on Earth. Let's begin our exploration. The competition for the title of the world's smallest computer. The world's first digital computer, the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, ENIAC, occupied a massive 167.2 square meters, equivalent to a luxury apartment, and weighed a staggering 50 tons or about 10 adult African elephants. Today, a computer can fit in the palm of your hand, and scientists worldwide have been racing to create the smallest possible computers, resulting in devices so tiny that most people need to squint to see them. In 2014, researchers at the University of Michigan created the world's smallest computer at the time, the Michigan Micromode, measuring only two by two by four millimeters, about the size of a pen tip. However, in March 2018, IBM shattered this record with a computer measuring just one by one millimeter. Don't be mistaken. What you see isn't a single computer, but 64 tiny circuit boards with only two minuscule computers in the upper left corner. The black dot amidst a pile of salt grains is the computer I'm referring to. IBM's salt grain sized computer infuriated University of Michigan scientists not because their record was broken, but because they believed IBM engineers had cheated. The University of Michigan argued that IBM's tiny computer wasn't a true computer because it lost all programs and data when powered off, unlike the MMM, which retained its programs even without power, just like a smartphone or laptop. Michigan researchers claimed that if a device losing all data upon power down qualified as a computer, they could create even smaller ones, and they weren't bluffing. In June 2018, the University of Michigan reclaimed the title of smallest computer in the world by creating a device nearly invisible to the naked eye. This new computer measured only 0.3 millimeters on each side, just 9.09% .09 of IBM's device in terms of area. This grain of rice never thought it could become such a giant. The competition for the title of the world's longest river. We all know that the Nile and the Amazon are the first and second longest rivers in the world, respectively. But the truth is that no one knows their exact lengths. According to Wikipedia, the Amazon is often cited as having a minimum length of 6,400 kilometers, but various measurements have yielded significantly different results, ranging from 6,275 to 7,025 kilometers. Similarly, the Nile is typically estimated to be around 6,650 kilometers long, but its actual length could fall anywhere between 5,499 and 7,088 kilometers. As bizarre as this may sound, these discrepancies are entirely justified. Again, according to Wikipedia, the length of a river cannot be determined with absolute precision. Measurements can vary depending on the method used, the scale and investment in the survey, and the chosen starting and ending points, such as the river's source and mouth. In fact, the title of the world's longest river has been hotly contested between the Amazon and the Nile for decades. In 1971, an expedition led by the National Geographic Society concluded that the source of the Aparamac River was the source of the Amazon. However, a 2014 study by the University of California, Berkeley, suggested that the Mantaro River was the true source. Both the Mantaro and Apurimac originate in the Andes, in western and southwestern Peru, respectively. Choosing between the Mantaro and Apurimac as the starting point for the Amazon directly affects the total length of this colossal river. Even when the starting and ending points of a river have been established and there's a detailed map or even modern satellites for measurement, the actual length can still depend on many other factors. For example, a small branch that splits off from the main river flows independently for a distance and then rejoins the main flow is called an Anna branch, and it's considered part of the river. A river with many Anna branches will have a longer measured length than its actual length on a map. Additionally, the length of a river measured along its channel will differ from its length measured along its banks. The significant influx of water during the rainy season can dramatically change a river's shape and length. Moreover, riverbanks erode and accrete over time, 
causing rivers to meander and change course, indicating that a river's length is not a fixed value from the outset. This makes it virtually impossible to determine the exact length of a river. Returning to the two largest rivers in the world, in March 2009, a peer-reviewed article published in the International Journal of Digital Earth combined satellite image analysis and field investigations of the source regions to recalculate and accurately determine the lengths of 10 major rivers worldwide. According to this article, the Nile is the longest river at 7,088 kilometers, followed by the Amazon at 6,575 kilometers. Setting aside the competition between these two rivers, most viewers have never seen in person. There's a fascinating fact about the Amazon that we'd like to share to conclude this video. You won't find any bridges crossing the world's second longest river. You might think that engineers are afraid to build a bridge over the Amazon because of its immense width, ranging from at least one kilometer to over 100 kilometers, but that's because you haven't heard of the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge in China, which is 164.8 kilometers long. The real reason people don't build bridges across the Amazon isn't a technical issue. It's because most of the Amazon flows through the vast Amazon rainforest, covering nearly 7 million square kilometers, an area almost as large as Australia. The population density in this region is comparable to that of the world's great deserts. Unless there is an overwhelming need for the Amazon tribes or wild animals to cross the river, a multi-million dollar bridge connecting two forests deep within a vast jungle would be one of the most wasteful projects ever undertaken. In case you're wondering, people living in the Amazon basin primarily use ferries to cross the river. And have you noticed this red dot in the Amazon rainforest? Yes, that red dot indicates a high population density and that area is Manaus, the most populous city in the Amazon basin with over 2.2 million inhabitants. To accommodate the transportation and trade needs of the people, the Ponte Rio Negro Bridge was built in 2007 and opened in 2011. This nearly 3.6 kilometer long bridge connects Manaus with Iranduba, a small town with a population of 50,000, but it crosses the Rio Negro, not the Amazon, so it doesn't qualify as a bridge over the Amazon. What do you think? Drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you never miss a new upload. For now, goodbye and see you next time.